Hey everybody, you ready? We're going to have some fun. Let's do the cleanup song. Okay. It's the cleanup song. Time to clean up, everyone. Let's pick up our things. Clean up, everybody. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, clean up, clean up. Everybody, clean up. Time to clean up. Pick up. to see you all here. Welcome to Mainly Music. Really wonderful. Now we're gonna have um, a, we, we're gonna have a birthday today. Who's got a birthday? I think Abby's it's last week. Max and it was Abby's last week. Happy birthday to Max and Abby. You ready to sing? Max last week. Max last week and I think it's Abby. I don't not know. Abby's. Is it Abby? Oh okay well it was Max last week. Max's birthday last week, so we'll sing happy birthday to Max. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Max. Happy birthday to you. And happy birthday, you. Max. <laughs> I know. I should be on the stage. The first one out of town. Alrighty, so we're going to have a lot of fun. Abby's birthday's in October. Oh, Abby's birthday's in October. We got in a little bit early, but you know, <laughs> that's the way we are here. Okay, so think spot. Being a mother, 
or a father, being a mother father, but it's, is, but it's, oh, it's Mother's Day, of course, I knew that. Being a mother is not about what you gave up to have a child, but what you have gained from having one. Now, sometimes you see movies and you see you know, uh, people who question the value of families, and look, and it's and it's a legitimate uh, life choice not to have kids. Some some people, that's that's their thing, and that's really important as well for people to feel valued for not having children as much as people having children. But we should never feel like we've ever actually given up anything to have our families because we've gained so much more. Who here would ever have anything any different? Even from the worst moments, we still wouldn't have anything different, would we? We love having our kids, except for that one that came in before. But don't you tell him. Don't tell him. All right. Let's... um. What have we got here? Your face is taking up the oh, screen. Oh, my face is taking up the screen. Sorry. Let's move me around. Yeah. Yeah. Hey? No, no, it's okay. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry. Let's move on. Welcome to music. Have you got some cool spoons? Welcome to music. Welcome everyone. Welcome to music. We're going to have some fun. Welcome to music, welcome everyone. Clap your hands and feel the beat now. Clap your hands, it's really neat. Clap them up high and clap them down low. And roll your hands and wave hello. Hello everyone, welcome to Welcome to music, we're gonna have some fun. Welcome to music, welcome everyone. Move your head and feel the beat now. Move your head, it's really neat. Move it up high and move it down low. Hello. Welcome to music. Welcome everyone. Welcome to music. We're gonna have some fun. Welcome to music. Welcome everyone. Move your elbows and feel the beat now. Move your elbows. It's really neat. Move them up high and move them down low. And feel the feet now Move your body, body. It's really neat Move it up high And move it down low Roll your hands And wave hello. 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 hello Welcome to music Welcome everyone Welcome to music We're gonna have some fun Welcome to music Welcome to music, everybody. Let's move to the beat. Hey, hello, Cindy. Clap, clap your hands, stamp, stamp your feet. Clap your hands and stamp your feet. You're moving to the beat. Clap, clap your hands, stamp, stamp your feet. Clap your hands and stamp your feet. You're moving to the beat. Put your arms up in the air, wave them to and fro. 
and nod your head and yeah. wave your arms. Yeah. 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 Clap, clap your hands, stamp, stamp your feet. Clap uh. your hands and stamp your feet. You're moving to the beat. Clap, clap your hands, stamp, uh. stamp your feet. Clap your hands and stamp your feet. You're moving to the beat. Bend your knees and bend your knees and dangle way down low. Shake your hands and then your knees and let your body go. Clap, clap your hands, stamp, stamp your feet. Clap your hands and stamp your feet. You're moving to the beat. Clap, clap your hands, stamp, stamp your feet. Clap your hands and stamp your feet. You're moving to the beat. Did everybody do that? Did you stamp your feet? Now we're going to do banging on the floor. You won't be able to see me if I bang on the floor. So I'm going to bang on some bongos. You ready? Let's go. Bang on the floor. Bang on the floor. Slap on your knees. Slap on your knees. Tap on your head. Tap on your head. Rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Let's do it again. You ready? Bang on the floor. Bang on the floor. Bang on the floor. Slap on your knees. Slap on your knees. Tap on your head. Tap on your head. Rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Smack your elbows. Smack your elbows. Smack your elbows. Smack your elbows. Pick your nose, pick, no, don't do that. Ignore me, hug I'm a, <gasps> hug your mum, hug your dad, hug your nan, hug your pop, hug your brother, hug your sister, hug your baby, hug your puppy, hug your cat. Go get your fish and hug your fish. Don't get your fish, do not hug your fish. Who's got hands? Everybody lift your hands up. Okay. Wave your hands around like this. Do lots of wishy, wishy, swishy, swishies with your hands. Because guess what? Those hands on the ends of your arms can do such amazing things, can't they? They can touch things. They can feel whether something's warm or cold or hot. And they can pick things up and you can eat with them. You can dress yourself with them. You can brush your hair. You can clean your body all with these hands. How amazing are your hands? Well, guess what? God made my hands and God made my feet. <coughs> I can't get them up. He made my mouth so I can eat, eat, eat. He made my big muscles. And my chinny chin chin. And he made my big heart. How's it going? There. He made my big heart to put his big love in. Yeah. Let's do that one again. God made my hands and God made my feet. He made my mouth so I can eat, eat, eat. He made my big muscles. Show me your big muscles. And my chinny chin chin, and he made my big heart to put his big love in. Yes. What's next, I wonder? <gasps> I like toast for breakfast! Yes! Yeah! Oh, oh, 
I like toast for breakfast when I get out of bed. I love to push the handle down of the toaster with the bread. Hey, 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 hey. My toast goes down, the heat turns up, and when I'm done, I pop right up. I like toast for breakfast when I get out of bed. I love to push the handle down of the toaster with the bread. Oh. My toast goes down, the heat turns up, and when I'm done, I pop right up. My toast goes down, the heat turns up, and when I'm done, I pop right up. Yes. Oh, who loves toast for breakfast? What did you have for breakfast? Tell me in the notes what you had for breakfast. I had porridge. And you know when I had it? Early in the morning. Here we go. Make a big moo. 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 Boys and duck! Ready? my little friends it's story time okay I've got a brilliant story for you all about all about and um, all about a cheetah are you ready it's all about a cheetah okay now it's Frida the cheetah you ready Elephant's trunk covered both of his eyes while the animals all ran away to hide. Across the savannah, the herd of them thundered as elephant counted out one to a hundred. They pitted and patted in every direction. They were all pretty good at avoiding detection. The best player of all, at hide, but the very best player of hide and go seek, was Frida the Cheetah of Mozambique. Oh yeah, Frida the Cheetah of Mozambique. 
She ran like the wind and walked like the breeze. As she crouched in the grass and she hid behind trees. Look at her hiding behind that tree there. Can you see it? The elephant's looking for her, but can't find Frida the Cheetah of Mozambique. She had stripes on her face and brown spots all around. And when she would hide, she could never be found. That's because she would blend in, wouldn't she? What's that called? When, when animals blend into their surroundings. It's called camouflage. Yes, camouflage. What else can you do, Frida the Cheetah from Mozambique? Elephant searched about all afternoon. He found every potamus, skunk and baboon. Look, there's the hop, hip, hip, hopopotamus. The hippopotamus in the water there and the baboon behind the rock. And there's a skunk coming out of a hole in the tree. He looked to the west and he looked to the east. He found every zebra and blue wildebeest. As he crisped and he crossed all along that savannah, he found all the monkeys behind the bananas. Look at those monkeys on their bananas. Banana, banana, I live in the savannah. He found every one of them, all except Frida. He just couldn't find that unfindable cheetah. So all of the animals joined in the searching. Every lion and mouse, every turtle and urchin. No one knows where she hides, but they know where she doesn't. Because the places they looked were the places she wasn't. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That is a, that's very true. When you're looking for something and you can't find it, well, you know exactly where it isn't. Have you ever done that? You're looking for something? I do that all the time. Belinda knows where everything is. They looked from the lake to the highland plateau. Oh, where, they cried out, did that crafty cat go? <laughs> oh, I love the rhymes in this book. They scanned the horizon for signs of her motion. They looked out on the waves of the Indian Ocean. <gasps> well, that's it. I'm giving up now, Elephant said. It's time to go home and get ready for bed. I've had quite enough of this rigmarole, so I'm going to get back to my watering hole. Oh, Elephant, don't give up yet. But the others kept searching. They looked all around. They're still looking now, but they still haven't found the world's best player of hide-and-go-seek, the crafty old cheetah from Mozambique. Oh, yeah, Mozambique, you crafty cheetah. Frida the cheetah, nobody can find her. She's very fast and she... She hides in the grass and in the trees, and you can't see her. She runs like the wind and walks like the breeze. So if you happen to see her, would you point her out, please? Can you see her in this picture anywhere? Can you see where she is? I can't see her anywhere. I don't think she's in this picture. <gasps> Actually, look behind the rock. Have a look behind. You can just see her ears, I think. Maybe, or the, is that grass? Who knows? That sneaky Frida just knows where to go. Well, look, here's Africa. This is where, this is where Frida the cheetah comes from. The country, the, well, there's lots of countries in Africa. Africa is one great big continent. But all the way to see down the bottom, there's South Africa. Well, just above and to your right, there's a brown country. That's Mozambique. And across the water from there is the island of Madagascar. Yes, that's where King What's-His-Name comes from. Yeah, from, um, Madagascar. from Madagascar. You know the, the movies? Yeah. What What's-His-Name? Uh, King... 
King Philippe? No, who knows? Anyway, you know who I'm talking well, about. Kids will tell us. Well, if you know the answer, who's the king from you know, Madagascar? You know, type it down into the um, into the comment section for us. But it, this is a really good book. It shows you where all all the um, countries of Africa are. And that's important to remember that Africa is not just one big country. It's literally dozens and dozens and dozens of lots of countries. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story about Cheetah the Frida. Ah, Frida the Cheetah, I mean. Cheetah the Frida. My goodness King me. King Julian. King Julian, that's it. King Julian. Who do we thank for that? Kyla and Natalie. Oh, thank you, Kyla and Natalie. Appreciate that. King Julian, that's exactly who it was. Tell what they do all day. Oh, yes, they obviously <laughs> watch a lot of TV. But are you ready? Are you ready to do some more uh, having fun? Really? Are you? Well, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's have oh, sticky lollipops. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. There's no music to this one. You ready? With five sticky lollipops fixed on sticks. Take a sticky lollipop and a lick, a lick, a lick. Four sticky lollipops fixed on sticks. Take a sticky lollipop and a lick, a lick, a lick. Three sticky lollipops fixed on sticks. Take a sticky lollipop and a lick, a lick, a lick. Two sticky lollipops fixed on sticks. Take a sticky lollipop and lick, lick, lick. One sticky lollipop fixed on a stick. Take that sticky lollipop and lick, lick, lick. Oh, no sticky lollipops fixed on sticks. No sticky lollipops to lick, lick, lick. Let me show you a magic trick that I can do with my fingers. Are you ready? I can make this finger jump onto this hand. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at that! Did you see it? Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, did you see that? It went from this hand to that hand. Okay, just one. Oh! Ooh. Where'd it go? Where'd my fingers go? Let's bring them back. Look at that! I'm so magic! Ha! Yes! I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you how I did that. Are you ready for the tickle rhyme? Let's tickle each other. Now you get down in front of mum or nan or whoever's there. Get down with dad. You ready? Okay. If I were a hedgehog and you were a hedgehog with a one and a two and a three, I'd tickle your prickles to give you the giggles because you'd be special <laughs> to me. Oh. If I were a kanga and you were a kanga with a one and a two and a three, I'd bounce you so high be up to the sky because you are special to me. Let's go back to that one. Go back to that one. Okay, you come here. Oh, she's not going to do it. I was going to try and bounce her up to the sky. But uh, <laughs> she won't be in it. If you were a seahorse, and uh, if I were a seahorse, and you were a seahorse, with a one and a two and a three, I'd rock you to sleep way down in the deep because you are special to me. Well, I am a person, and you are a person, with a one, and a two, and a three. And I'll whisper in here, right here in your ear, that you are special to me. You are, all of you, very special to me. Well, that's it. That's all we've got time for, my beautiful, wonderful friends. I hope you've had lots of, lots of fun. Um... We'll be here again next week. Again, there's no recording for tomorrow. Um, 
because I've got another meeting that I've got to be involved in and in the morning. Um, we we don't have any date for returning yet. Um, as soon as we know anything about when we can do that, we will be on it. You ready to sing the goodbye song? I hope you've all got some nice morning tea coming up. Never needs to ring us again. Yeah. And look, if any of you are having any troubles at all and you need some support, if even if all you want is just to chat to someone, just give us a call. Maybe even just. Flick us a message on Facebook and say, hey, I could really use a chat. Because we really want to be able to support you. Whatever situation or circumstance you might be in, yeah, just flick us a message if you need some support and we will be on it. On it! Like white on rice. Like green on beans. Like yellow on squash. But it doesn't rhyme. Anyway. Goodbye, goodbye, until we meet again. Let us all enjoy ourselves as we make many friends. Goodbye, goodbye, until we meet again. Let us all enjoy ourselves as we make many friends. Bye-bye, everybody. It's been so good to have you all here. We'll see you again next week. Bye.